so we're, as far as the informed consent um, document, we, we did spell out the kinds of general experiences we expected people to have. We told them the effects would be very quick, um, that there would be extremes of emotion, there'd be a lot of you know, visual effects, um, that there'd be extreme emotional effects from high to low. Um, their thinking may speed up, may slow down, just kind of a general description. It wasn't more than a paragraph long. Um, I even included in the informed consent uh, form that uh, they may feel as if they're dying um, because I knew they may feel like they were dying. And, uh, you know, in the spirit of informed consent, you really want to let people know what they're going to be uh, embarking on. Um, so that was kind of one of the beginning stages of letting people know and getting them prepared for what to expect. Oh, actually, um, even before we started the study, um, in anticipation of developing the rating scale, um, I interviewed a number of DMT smokers because uh, I wanted to get a sense of the spectrum of the effects of DMT in anticipation of working on a questionnaire that would uh, quantify those effects. So I talked to about 20 people, um, interviewed them for up to a couple hours or so on the phone generally, just to get a sense of what the volunteers were going to be, you know, getting into. So I could more informally, when I was talking to people in the screening process, let them know what I had heard um, about what DMT was like. Yeah, and um, so when I would come into the room, we would talk about what to expect. I, I think also that, that small dose gave people a flavor of what things were going to be like, especially as far as the time course. Uh, only one or two people out of the 60 or so that we studied had smoked DMT previously. So with, a, with, with other hallucinogens like mescaline or LSD, it can take a half hour or even longer for the effects to be felt. So people just didn't know, even the most hardcore psychedelic users in our group, they weren't that familiar with the rapidity of the onset, and they never done a drug IV. So I think it was very helpful for them to get that low dose just to get a sense of, you know, within a couple of heartbeats, they were feeling the effect. Uh, but there are just some glimmerings of, you know, the visual effects with the low dose. But, you know, it was a flavor. It was, you know, obviously a quantum level below what they were about to embark upon with the higher dose. 